Well, hey folks, this is uh, January 11th in uh, Southeast Pennsylvania, as you well know, that's where I'm at. Uh, we got no ice around here, but I figured I'd take, uh, take today and go down to uh, local lake, Marsh Creek, and just see if there was any ice at all. Um, I rigged up, also rigged up with a slip bobber and a little ice jig, some wax worms. Figured maybe I'll throw it in, maybe I'll catch something. Didn't really expect to, but as you'll see here, I did get a few perch. I was kind of surprised, but anyway, as far as the ice goes, for those of you that are familiar with lake, with the lake, this is uh, Marsh Creek Lake, and then this is the different coves. Uh, some people may know them: Carpenter's Cove, the Main Cove, uh, Ranger's Cove things like that, uh, that uh, all the locals are familiar with. So we got uh, we got ice. I was surprised to see ice on the main lake. And it was kind of in the middle of the lake and you could I could tell after being there a while that it was kind of moving around a little bit. There wasn't much wind but you could see it was shifting. So the edges of the lake are open but out in the middle of the lake is this big sheet of very thin ice. So that was kind of unexpected. I went over to uh, Carpenter's Cove. The ice there was coming up from the back of the cove, almost out to the mouth, and right to the point there that uh, some of you may be familiar with. Again, real thin ice, but uh, nonetheless ice. Went over to the main cove. About the same thing from uh, Little Conestoga Road where the bridge is, all the way up almost to the big rock. And there's this very thin coat of ice there. So I, I did fish there. That's where I caught some fish, uh, a, few, a few small perch. Um, over on Ranger's Cove, I could see from the road that about the same thing. Had ice coming up from the back of the cove all the way up to the, almost to the front of the cove, but not quite. But again, the edges all open. But this, this very thin ice seems to be there. And... That's a good indication that if we do get a cold spell, which isn't even in the five or ten day forecast, but if we do near the end of the month, uh, the lake's ready to freeze up. So we might we might get lucky this year, I think, and maybe get one week, maybe two for the most brave people to get out there on the ice. But for now, there's nothing here in southeast Pennsylvania. There's a few lakes up in the Poconos, as you may know if you follow some of the the uh, chat rooms. So uh, here we go with what I caught and uh, a little bit of that. Won't take long to view it. Thanks, thanks for uh, checking in. Thanks for taking time to watch. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me out. Uh, share it. Uh, like it. Do all that good stuff for me. And uh, enjoy. Those for those of you who have ice. Be safe. That's all I can say. See you later. Well, I'm at Marsh Creek today. This is January, I don't know, 10th or 11th. So what I'm going to do is, I'm over here where there's a pretty good drop-off into 15, 20 feet of water, where I actually, actually like the ice fish here. You don't got to go out too far to get into 30 feet because the channel comes right through there. But I'm going to toss out the... Uh, wax worm on a little jig that I would normally use for ice fishing and we're gonna see what's out there it's uh, I'm gonna tip it with a wax worm I won't catch a damn thing but it's better than being home so let's see what happens here we go so I have my bobber set at uh, 12 feet Give or take an inch. <laughs> the nice little jig that I would normally use for ice fishing. And it's kind of the color they like. Around here. I'm going to tip it with a wax worm. Just like I would if I was out there ice fishing. 
and we'll see the sunfish or a perch. And we'll throw out as far as I can to try to reach a 10 or 12 foot mark. We'll see how the bobber reacts. And I got a fish. <laughs> That's amazing. What do I got here? A little perch. How about that? There you go. <laughs> How about that, folks? Come on. There he is. Good musky bait. <laughs> How about that? So, I'm not skunked. <laughs> Go move the bobber up a little bit. Try it again. <laughs> There's another fish. Holy mackerel, I'm on them. Looks like I picked a good spot. <laughs> another perch. They are beautiful fish, you know. Back in you go. I'd like to have one that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I moved down a little bit. Not really to where I wanted to be, but lucky me, I found the lure right away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's what you call coming down in the right spot. Look at this. Look at this guy. Not a bad one either. Looks like it's been there a while. The hooks are rusty as hell. But, uh, I'll take it. The lure has been here a while. The hooks are rusted. And it's collected <laughs> quite a bit of debris which actually looks like sheepskin <laughs> and I should have taken my glove off before I started this because now I gotta cut a hole in my glove to get out so I get this off <laughs> lesson learned I knew it from before but forgot don't try to mess around with the hooks with your gloves on because they will end up getting snagged up. Right, I don't know what this is, but it looks like, like I said, sheep's fur. But we're getting it off. Pretty soon we'll have a lure. So this is a nice, yeah, it's a perch colored, but a nice little like rebel lure. Probably a floater. Let's check it out and see. Uh, yep, a floater. So that'll be a good lure for later on in the year. I used to come down here when they let the water out a lot more than this in the wintertime. I used to let it down three or four feet. I'd walk the shoreline and find a lot of lures. This one I just happened to luck into as I stepped down from the main part of the bank and it was laying right in here. So, lucky me. Okay, now down here, this area right here, I was fishing down there a bit. This area right here drops off pretty good. I think I should be able to cast into eight or ten feet pretty easy and uh, perhaps there will be some perch laying in there so set the bobber and set it about ten feet right now so we'll leave it go let's see what we got here there's quite a bit of activity of something up in here bite and a bite. Got him. 
got him. <laughs> I got him. What do we got here? It's another perch. <laughs> another six inch perch. <laughs> well, I am having some fun here today. Even though they're little, that's number four. So, really can't complain. Well, that's it for a day of getting out there and trying to catch a couple fish. I think I got five all together. Nice little perch, nothing to get excited about, but uh, it's a couple fish. And, uh, better than being home. So, no ice in Marsh Creek to speak of, but uh, the perch are in 10 12 feet of water, so that's uh, that's good to remember if it does get iced up here next week or two. Don't have to go out too deep to get them, but damn, they're small. Ugh. Oh well, that's it, that's all I got. But I do thank you for uh, taking time to tune in and watch the show. <laughs> That's the way it is. Hey, all you guys that do have some ice out there, good luck to you. Tight lines. Be safe. Keep an eye on that flasher. Because they'll come in and nail it when you least expect it. See ya.